to my nursery welcome to my nursery if you are new stopping by for the first time so it is thursday evening and i decided to come on and do a video because we are actually experiencing a hurricane here in georgia and i decided to come do a video because from what I'm understanding, this is just the beginning of the hurricane. It started from last night with all of this rain. Like, it it just poured all night, all morning. It finally slowed up, like, later on this afternoon and on today. We're still raining, but it slowed down. So, they are saying we will get like the weather's gonna get worse we're gonna get more i thought this was it i was like oh this isn't too bad but from what i'm getting now from the news updates is that this is just the beginning of it all so i figured okay let me come do a video while i can do a video i have a cold right now if you can't tell i just started getting sick yesterday and I couldn't do a video yesterday. I was just out of it all day. I was really sick. Today, I feel a little bit better. So I was like, let me do a video today while I have electricity and Wi-Fi and everything. Let me come to a video and say hello to everyone um, because I don't know what could happen by tomorrow. I'm just hoping everything is going to be okay because I think since I've been in Georgia, from what I'm remembering from past storms we like they weren't like making a big deal out of it like this one that's coming because it's going to come up where i am through the middle of georgia where normally the hurricanes more stay to the outskirts of georgia near savannah near more of the water the area where the water is so this is a little bit different because it's coming straight up through and I'm like in the middle to the south, close to Florida. I'm closest like really to Florida. So I don't know what to expect. I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I, I'm trying to be calm. I'm, I'm just praying through that it won't be too bad. But they were actually giving out sandbags today. I don't remember them doing that before in the past. Telling people to get, like have at least three days of your medication, um, you know, packed where you can get it and food and water. It, I don't remember them doing all of this it, since I've been in Georgia since 2001. I first came to Georgia. I don't remember this. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. So I was like, okay, let me go say hello to my people on here. And just if y'all don't hear from me for a couple of days, I guess we lost power. I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, I have my little guy here. My little Malik Pascal. And he is the Pascal by Joanna Kazmazak. And he is painted and rooted, hair rooted by me. And I have not changed him out of this outfit for the longest he's had it on so i figured i'd come change him because i have two babies i'm gonna change him and my laura because they have not gotten changed in a while and as i always say my vinyl reborns i love them as well as my silicones i love my dolls all of them but my vinyl babies, I do not change them as often. So every now and then I have to give them some love too. And give them some camera time. And this little boy, I just adore, adore him with his little teeny self. So if you are new to my channel before I keep rambling, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. 
click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I do new videos. And please, everyone, give the video a like. Hit that thumbs up for me. Okay, so we're going to put him into a sleeper. So he's going to get a quick little sleeper change and a diaper change. I like this baby because he just looks so newborn. I notice I like to dress him as such. Meaning I don't really dress him up. I notice I like him dressed like a newborn like a fresh newborn, and that's what he looks like. That's the, his size and everything. So I noticed the outfits I've been picking out for him since he's been in my nursery, since I painted him, are all more so the layette type outfits that the baby would be lounging in, comfortable in the house. I, I don't think I put him in a dressy outfit at all. He's gonna get this little Muppet baby pamper it's a newborn size and he's in a newborn pamper he fits newborn diapers so cute and he has the half belly plate as you can see and i don't really take it off of him when it's the half belly plates i usually love to just leave them on because they don't really take away from the baby's cuddle factor because it's a half belly plate. So I usually just leave it on the baby. I like how it makes them look more realistic with the little belly plate on and a cute little belly button. So most times if I can stand it, I'll leave the belly plate on. So yeah, that is what's happening here in Georgia, USA. We're getting Hurricane Helene, I guess that's how you say her name, Helen, Helena, Helene, ready. That's what we're preparing for down here. So that is his little diaper in the back. So adorable. So also, please share my videos, guys. Continue to share, share, share with your friends and your, your dolly friends that may not know of my channel. I am having a giveaway when I reach 5,000 subscribers, and it will be a reborn painted in an ethnic skin tone similar to this little guy here not the same all of the babies come out slightly different from each other when i paint them but kind of similar ethnic skin tone and i will be giving that baby away once i paint it and i'm not sure what kit is going to be yet or anything and it will come with the whole box opening and everything um so there will be one lucky winner of that baby at that time so the sooner we get to the 5,000 subscribers, the sooner we can do that giveaway. So this is the little fall sleeper he's going to get. It's footed. It's um, that thermal waffle material. Carter's newborn with these pumpkins on it. And squash, I think that is. Or gourds. Whatever you call this kind. I know these are pumpkins, the orange ones. And then we have something brown here. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's a fall-themed sleeper. And I believe I got this last year after the holidays were over. And I said I would save it. You know how they have stuff on clearance after the holidays. So... I got it right after, I think, Thanksgiving or Halloween or something, and they had clearance, and I grabbed this. I've been trying for the past couple of years, like whenever there's the holiday sales after the holiday is over, 
I try to grab something so I can add it into my baby's little holiday clothing collection. Because as I always say, I don't have a whole lot of hol like holiday themed clothing. A lot of it that I had when I first started collecting the dolls, I eventually donated it, sold it, gave it away. So little by little, the little bit of clothes I did have for the holidays, I didn't have it anymore. Because my plan was, you know, to just slowly buy new ones and add them back in. So that's what I've been doing. Because you know how you get tired of the same stuff every holiday so i decided i was gonna let go of some of the older things i had and i would just slowly buy new stuff and add it in so that's what i've been doing little by little adding in some new pieces and i don't know if i'm gonna change all the babies into fall stuff we will see what happens i have a few little halloween sleepers and outfits um, some of them is like this, not many. I kind of like this kind that he's getting because it doesn't necessarily have to be for Halloween, although it has the pumpkins on it. It just looks like it's for fall, for even for Thanksgiving because it has the pumpkins on it. So I kind of like this more than I actually like the Halloween ones. Because then those have jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts and all of that. So you only could put it on the baby exactly for Halloween for next month. Or you can start putting it on them now too. But then once Halloween is done, all of that, you got to take it off the babies. Because it's strictly, you know, it's for Halloween. This one, he could actually keep this on from now all the way until Thanksgiving. So that's what I like about this kind. So, anyway, let's get to the next baby. That is little Pascal, which I call him Malik Pascal. My little guy, and he's so adorable. Can you guys see him? I probably have the camera too close. But that is him. And this newborn sleeper fits him perfectly. He is like the perfect little newborn little boy. That's the back of it. And his hair is a newborn mess in the back. But I like how it looks because it looks like a real baby's hair would be messy in the back. He's just so sweet. I love just picking him up. I'll be right back. Okay. And next up. We have little Laura Bell. And Laura Bell, my little Bell, is the Laura by Bonnie Brown. And she was also painted and rooted by me. So you can kind of see the little difference in her skin tone versus Pascal's or Malik's skin tone that I just changed, as I said. My ethnic skin tones vary a little. And that's her little feet. And she definitely hasn't had a like video change in quite a while. And what I forgot was her diaper. I always forget something. Let's see if I have any right here. I could give her that one. I think she should fit that. And she is going to get a little romper. I like Laura in rompers and like knitwear. So I wanted to try this little knit on her. This, I feel like it's definitely for fall. It could be for any time, fall or winter. It is a jockety gray. It's like that charcoal gray romper with the ruffled collar is like a cream ivory colored collar and it is a one month size and it has buttons in the back of it and so she's gonna get this with some socks and a headband 
So that's what she's going to put on. And as I was saying, it's like certain kind of clothes I like on this baby. I don't think I'll put her in many sleepers. Usually I'll try to find her an outfit to put on. And I definitely like her in rompers because I like to see her legs. So she will get a romper. Take her out of this diaper that she's had on for the longest time. So anyway, we are starting off this fall with, it's actually even been before fall came in. We were having a lot of hurricanes, it seemed like. But none of them really like hit us here where I am. It, it's kind of like we only get a little rain or something, or it might be a little cloudy. Nothing, you know, nothing too much. But for the first time, this one, the way they're predicting, it's going to be a little more serious. I'm, I'm thinking a lot of what they're saying is a lot of flooding. Because already it was getting like puddles from the rain that we were getting overnight. And the, um, like the, what do you call it? The drain at the curb where the water is supposed to run through and run down. They were full. Like in front of my house, I noticed like it was so much rain. It couldn't. It couldn't absorb it. It couldn't run through fast enough. It was starting to build up. So you can definitely see that there's a risk of flooding. Um, the good thing with this house that I just moved into this past summer, we just moved into this house. If you're new to my channel, um, we moved into this house in June, the end of June. And... What is good with this house in comparison to the house I moved out of is that this house is higher up off the ground. My other house, if there was like a risk of flooding, the other house definitely would have been at more risk of flooding damage um, because that house was on the ground. So I'm happy that I moved in a house now which was something I wanted with the next house I moved into. I wanted a house that would have a, like stairs to go up to get inside and also a like a porch. And this house does have a porch and you have to go up the steps to come into the house. And I love it. I love having the porch, first of all, just to have a porch. But what I also love is that you have to kind of walk up the steps to come up into this house. So it's not on the ground. And hopefully that would kind of protect us more from flooding in the house if it does flood. Um, because this house is higher up off the ground. So I'm kind of happy about that, relieved. Because um, they were giving out the sandbags, but... Because this house is higher up, I don't think we need the sandbags. I hope I'm not wrong, but I don't think we need them in this house. Now, if I was still in my other house, I would have went to grab some of those sandbags because they were giving them out earlier. I would have definitely tried to go get some. But thankfully, I don't think we'll need them. I'm trying out my noodle and boo hair leave-in conditioner hair polish which i did put some on little malik's hair so i'm gonna just put a little bit back here to keep her hair from messing up in the back so anyway i am definitely relieved that this house is not so flat on the ground. That is definitely a relief. Because that was one of the things I never did like about my other house was that 
it was so flat on the ground. And any little rain and stuff, it, it was always that risk of you getting flooded because it would have just came right in the house if the yard would have flooded. But thankfully, we never had that happen when we lived in that house. With all of the different storms that came through, we were always safe, thank God. We never had any flooding happen in that house because definitely we was at risk. If it would have flooded, we probably, everything would have got messed up because that house was so flat to the ground. All the water would have just came right inside. So, and I drip hairspray on her. Her little romper. I hope it dries clear. It's not a heavy hairspray though. It's It feels like more like it's watery with a little bit of conditioner. It's like very light where it won't build up in the baby's hair too quick. Okay, so she does fit this one month size. I notice a lot of the clothes that I do have that are Layla's clothes, this baby can fit them in this one month size. So that is the romper. Now, I have one thing I couldn't really find though, the color of this collar, all the headbands I have is crazy, but I could not find, it's gonna take a while for this to dry off of here. Like knit stuff holds on to wet stuff, like moisture. It's gonna have to dry, air dry. But I could not find, you see how this is cream, this headband, but the collar is more of an ivory, it's lighter. And I don't have a headband this color. I have the deeper cream headbands like this. And then I have beige headbands. And then I have white headbands. I don't have a charcoal gray headband like this dark gray. Don't have any like that. And I don't have, <clears throat> my throat is cracking. <laughs> Excuse me. And I don't have any like creamy ones, very light cream like the collar. So still, I need more headbands. That's why I'm always buying them because I never seem to can find the color that I actually need with all the headbands I have. So I picked out these cable knit socks with the pom-poms. So we are gonna try these on first. You know, when you pick out too much stuff, I always say, you get confused. So these socks are by Pretty Originals. They are cable knit and they are like an ivory color, like the collar of her little top. So I picked these because I didn't want to put shoes on her, but I wanted some cute little socks to go with her little romper. So I figured something with the little pom-poms would be nice. So that's these. Then I have just plain cable knit off white. Then I have <laughs> bow, the blue bow socks, which are off white with the bows on the side. I kind of like those too. And then I had the little short ankle little off white bow socks. So, you see, I started looking for one pair of socks, and I ended up picking out four pair of socks. But, do I just like the one she's wearing, possibly? I think I might just leave those. She doesn't need to try on all of them. I think I'm going to stick with the one she's wearing. So, that is her little outfit, and that is little... Laura Bell today. She finally got to get a video and come say hello and get changed on camera. Because the last time I changed her, it was off camera. When I first moved into the house and I had changed her first, but it was off camera. So this is her first 
on camera little video change and there she is and i'm also using my new little pillow i love it to prop the babies up on when i'm changing them and this pillow was part of my gift thank you again my sweet dolly sis who gifted me that beautiful box of goodies for me and my babies i really love everything so the babies got to use their pillow and their noodle and boo hairspray and that is our video for today guys so please keep us in your prayers here all of us here in georgia keep us in your prayers that the storm won't be too bad i'm hoping they're wrong and it won't be too bad so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Everyone stay safe. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.